Okay, well, when video gaming becomes such a pain in the neck for everybody, people just turn from gaming to not buying a video card. Well, I will talk about to you guys about this after this. Oh yeah, okay, so before we even continue on the video right now, please see actually hit the entire Discord server that I just finally finished or someone created. Anyways, and we actually have all this stuff right here. We have sign roads, we got announcements, we got notifications, we had some people posting, but maybe it just be me. All this stuff in here. We have some chat rooms here. And you guys can just join right now and stuff. So back to the video. Okay, so well physically I was I was literally doing some other stuff. I was working around just doing some stuff right now. Updating portfolios, updating things I need to do for the summer. And I was on my Facebook account, and some what reason this thing popped up in my um, search feed or my how can I say like my feed and stuff. And it comes out to Vector Dash. If you guys don't know what is a Vector Dash, I kind of somewhat searched it up in my Google Home and stuff just because I really don't have the idea or audacity to search up what in the world is Vector Dash supposed to be. But Vector Dash, as in, I have to say, is that it's a streaming service for games. So, after that reading that, it's, just, it's like almost multiple other streaming services out there, I kind of forgot, but it's almost like that. But this one is a little bit more interesting with their streaming services. Not only their streaming service is well, cheap, or you can try it for free, they have something that's very interesting. So I was looking around their site, so I was like, okay, sweet, play your favorite games on any computer. Okay, sweet, okay, um, favorite games, Fortnite, um, Apex Legends, and more. Okay, so, and this is what it looks like, I say, like, okay, oh, alright, this sounds, this sounds pretty, you know, legit, though, like, they actually trying to maybe people to actually play games maybe on the go so they don't have to keep downloading things back and forth on the cloud. So that sounds pretty cool. So I was like, okay, that sounds pretty cool. Well, you need to get rid of that Dota 2 though. Dota 2, whew, man, that's garbage. Uh, and now I went down here and I was like, I, the first thing I was like, okay, give me a look at this. Some game. And then this header came up. It's like, okay, so just so like play the latest games at 60, 60 frames per second or FPS without the graphics card. Don't buy hardware, just buy the games, bring your own gaming account to Vector Dash and launch a game without needing a graphics card. And I'm like, what? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let's just start from this entire thing right now. This is not supposed to be a reaction video, but this has to be a reaction video because how cringe this is getting me. So I was like, okay, so 60 frames per second, okay. But, and I, I scroll down a little bit more. So it's like, okay, so Ultimate PC Gaming in 4K at 20 bucks. It's like, Wait, 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 okay, wait a minute, are you gaming this on 4K, on 4K on your computer, and you saying something about you don't need a video card, I can literally list like one game in here that needs, literally needs a f***ing video card, like really needs a video card, and I, I think most people right now, and it is like literally the most laggiest game ever in the world if you don't have a video card, and I would say this to Pug G, uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. That is the most laggiest game if you don't have a video card. Like, I feel like you can literally. Can you run Pug G without like just only a CPU? Like, let's see this. Let's take a let's take a look at this, okay? I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna switch over cams for for just a minute. I'm gonna switch over cams. I'm gonna search up Pug G. Pug G specs i know definitely they need like at least like it's like their specs are like insane okay so i'm gonna switch back but something it's acting really redundant because now it's loading really really slow because i think i'm i'm down on gta 5 in the background if you guys don't know gta 5 is free on the epic game system right now i think but if you guys don't know Please search it up fast as possible. I just researched it again. It's not going to end tomorrow or today. It's actually going to end in, I think, 20 seconds of May and stuff. So if you guys are really interested in that, 
Hit up. Alright, so I don't really care about that. Okay, here we go. Give me switch over to cam. So this is their system requirements, okay? This is their system requirements right here. They need okay, so the window operating system, okay. That doesn't even matter to me. Okay, so it goes processors. Okay, so it's either a fourth gen processor or a AMD FX six um six three hundred. Uh well Due to maybe Pug G, maybe you need at least like an 8 gen because all the weird lag that happens. 8, 8 gigabytes of RAM, I would just say like, six, like 16 for that. Alright, now they need at least a GTX 960 or either a, what is it, like a AMD Renon R7 370 2 Okay, why a 2 gigabyte car? Why? Like, what is this? Okay, hold on. This is the recommended. Okay, they recommended 4 gigs, 1060. And we know PUBG lags pretty bad due to graphic performance from ultra settings. So, I would say that you do need a video card. To my point of view, I feel like you do need a video card and stuff. Like, it makes no sense if you don't have a video card for that one. Like, okay, do you have any other specs in here? Okay, this is just system requirements and stuff. So, this is like the system requirement that you guys can handle. Right, even with even the lowest requirements, right? Like just like what Vector said, like don't even without this video card, whatever video card it is, and AMD Rhinon or AMD Rhinon Five Seven or whatever it is, or GTX or RTX or whatever TX is, this, even on low graphics, like or low graphics settings. You still need a video card, no matter what it is. Though I'm, I'm just saying this in my point of view. Though I don't want to like actually like spit out like oh spit out the beans. It's like, bruh, you need a, a legit. You need this much, this much into the GPU. At least to my point of view, the best one right now. If you want to like keep this thing smooth as nails, I would just say like maybe back then in 2019 or 2018 ish. 10, uh, what is it, the GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti might fit perfectly here, but due to maybe um, the RTX series, I don't know, are they going to even update it to the RTX standards, but if not, 1080 Ti might fit this, and they don't really, it doesn't matter here, because you can't run games more than, less than 4 gigabytes, come on. That, the shaders are just going to be unbelievable, terrible, like, come on. And then let's see here. They have Overwatch 2. Well, not 2, but just Overwatch. Okay, uh, I don't know about League of Legends, especially. I think we could. League of Legends is a little bit lower. Okay, Rainbow Six. Oh my goodness. Rainbow Six. Okay, Apex Legends, I actually do play, and I do know you need at least, like. Camped in the wrong direction, though. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, Apex Legends. Spec. Alright, so, alright, so, okay, I'm gonna keep saying the word, so, alright, so they need, oh, that's why I keep saying the word so, so many times, it's like, it's unbelievable for myself. Alright, back to what I'm gonna say, alright, though, so this is Apex Legends, this is just minimum requirements. I three sixty three hundred three point eight gigahertz. It makes sense because it's a two thousand ish game ish. I can't remember what it is, but due to the update today or yesterday, I think it's gonna require a little bit more graphic intensive stuff due to the shaders and all. Okay, that was just so random. Okay, alright. So you need a i3-6300 with a 3.8 gigahertz. Okay. Alright, I don't, to me, my best bet is that I don't like i3 with a, what is it, what, what a 1060 or 1050 Ti or anything like that. I just don't know. I just, for a 1050 Ti, I think so you can get away with it, but maybe a 1060 or 1070, I feel like you're gonna get hit like bottleneck issues. Yeah. Six gigabytes of RAM, one gigabyte of RAM storage, da -da -da, thirty gig. Okay, so then this is the recommended one. So thirty-five, thirty-five. Okay, i5 thirty-five seventy K. Can be overclocked. I don't know about the AMD version one. I 
think it's gonna be like maybe like Ryzen. It could be like it can't be the I don't know about the second gen or the third gen Ryzen. I always figure it out. Um, Nvidia GeForce GTX 10. Okay, so all right, I will just stop right here. The GTX 1070 itself, it is actually a pretty good card. But if you guys want to play like maybe decent settings, it doesn't matter like what G GeForces is, like GTX or AMD like GPU you guys got. But if you really want to play in ultra settings to like almost max detail, I don't recommend a GTX 1070. At least like if you want to, if you want to actually play with like a little bit like medium setting, it doesn't matter. You can get like maybe just put a little bit more money on maybe like a, a I don't know like a lot of people are hating the GPU like the 1650 like the uh what is it the GTX 1650 you can I will actually recommend that better than this to my extent but I don't know I just like to upgrade GPUs for fun okay so all right Back to what I was trying to say, so to my extent right now, I know that if you want to max sell Apex Legend itself, so whatever I just said before, don't listen to what I just said. It physically, if you guys want to run something that's actually like low end settings and in high end settings, the lowest it can go it's maybe like a 1050 Ti or 1650, anything higher than that will be from 1070 and 1070 Ti and stuff and anything between that because it's all about the VRAM and stuff inside there if you guys want to do the particle system if you do like crazy max settings but you guys don't want to do the particle settings and max settings and just want to keep it at 4 should be fine because like on particle settings we go 4, 6, 8 so the maximum amount will be 8 and then maybe something else from that point on to be 1070 Ti. 1070 Ti should be fine, that's just the overclocking version of the 1070. And same thing with the 1080, 1080 Ti will be the overclocking version of the 1080. Don't know why they have an overclocking version of that. Don't know why they never really create like a 1060 Ti. They have a 1050 Ti. They don't. They never ever have a 1650 Ti, they have a superclocking version, they never call it Ti. Or maybe they do. But if they do, I never heard about it. But all the whole entire minimum spec is from 1050 Ti, 1650, overclocked, all the way up to from 1070 and up. And so, so if you guys have an RTX 2070, it should be fine. RTX 20, it should be fine. Our RTX, the RTX Titan series, no, not a doubt. You guys will handle it perfectly. And stuff, so don't worry about that. Mm. Boy, yeah, boy, yeah. this is not okay. Fortnite itself, you know, Fortnite, I actually will say I will agree you can literally run that without a GPU, but you can't run it on lower end CPUs. I know that I know that they have a YouTuber who ran an i3 8300, not the K version, but 8300, and that thing runs smoothly because due to it's not a it's actually a, what is it, an i3, it's like more like a dual core to them back then, but not with all the quad core, with the quad core stuff, with it, the thermal, or whatever, like the threading and stuff. That thing actually made it really smooth. I don't, it, my bottleneck, if he actually has a, a beast video card, like maybe like a 1070 or 2070 or like all the other stuff. But if you have like a 1650 or 1050 Ti or a 9... 970 or something it's not gonna bottleneck as much but it's only bottleneck this is od and stuff that's how i'm gonna say and stuff but like i look at the site it was like you cannot handle some of the games in here i can tell i can tell like all the lag gonna start coming into like pugg then i'm gonna go into like overwatch I don't know about League of Legends too much. I didn't play too much of League of Legends, but I do know you do need a video card, but I don't think you need like the higher end video card. It thinks that you just need like just like a decent video card. I think it's like I know like on the AMD side you just need like the AMD right on series and stuff. Anything higher than it's I guess it's anything higher than six hundred. Six hundred thousand and stuff. Anything higher than that. And I think that it should be fine, but I don't know why in the world. How can you? And it's running on like 
4K though too. Like how can you handle cloud-based game on 4K playing PUBG on ultra setting of for 60 frames per second? 4K at least if you want a game on 4K with 4K detail max settings, you definitely not going to buy the 1060 or the 10. The 50 Ti, you're literally gonna be at least buying like the higher end stuff, like the 20 series or like something like. If you guys don't have the 20s, you can go like the 1080 Ti series, maybe like that. At least from like if you actually have the 10 series, the 1070 actually or the 1070 Ti. Do they have a Ti version? I think they do. It's been for quite some time now. That's the only series right there that can actually run v like um, VR. And from that VR, I can actually handle like 4K. I know that so far. So if I'm somewhat right or wrong ish, 2070 ish will handle that in 4K. But it's all depend on VRAM too. Like VRAM and all this weird stuff. And the download storage, I don't, it doesn't matter unless you guys want to run it on like an SSD somewhat. Like. I was running all my games on like a second bay drive on the. Well, I choose what game is I gonna be running on. So like some of them are gonna be running on SSD. Some of them are gonna be just running on a um, seven two hundred RPMs because I don't really worry about that one too much. And the booting for those, it's not gonna drive me insane and stuff. So yeah. And most of the time. This whole thing just give me a complete cancer and stuff. Like, I, f I remember. Hold on, did Rainbow Six actually have like a higher end specs though, or is it like, to me, the only one that's old but new enough that I know 100% or somewhat close, you can't handle that. I know, I've seen some people actually do like these like weird crack version of their phone or like on their phones and stuff. For, like, the, what is it, PUBG Mobile and stuff? That thing cannot handle on lower end phones. If that thing can't handle on low end phones and you have a low end computer, that thing can't handle on low end computer on 4K. And imagine 4K, that's not, that's gonna be like lag to the next level. And stuff. So yeah, it is not gonna be fun and it's not gonna be amazing. But it is how it is. And I don't believe this whole thing, I don't feel like it's a scam though. I feel like it's just. I don't, to me, I don't understand how can you run a game like this intense. Like, these two are intense games without a graphics card. That's my idea. I don't know how they will run that. Apex Legends at least need to run an Apex. Like, I might, if I actually have the chance, I will gladly enough buy, like, the most low-end, like, computer ever. Download Apex Legends or maybe pre install into one drive and try to boot it up. If that thing lags terribly, this whole this whole site's a complete scam though. Like 